Can you get across? Can you find a way in? I will go around and divert attention. Ha! <laughs> 
George? Is it you? Officer, David son. If you would kindly pay me the respect my rank commands now. Fighting for the British? And working for my enemy who would enslave you? I'll say something's rank. Ha! The loyalists have guaranteed my freedom. I will fight for it and win it for myself. Meanwhile, the slaves and the poor are targets in New Orleans. And you play the hero in New York. Who do you serve? And do you really think yourself free? Charity should begin at himself, Miss Aveline. I had hoped it would not come to this. Now, in death, eternal freedom. You mock me. I chose my destiny. That is real freedom. Perhaps one day you will know it too. I... Who is the company man? <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along. Just... Open your eyes. <sighs> Did you find what you sought? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I... trust my own hands. Of course. Travel safely. 
It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path. Yes! Je n'en crois pas mes yeux. Aveline! What a pleasant surprise. I trust you had a safe journey? Safety? Ha! <laughs> what a quaint concept. Aveline! Are you well? You may quit your maternal act, company man. I'm well aware of your true identity. <laughs> oh, Aveline, do not be so angry. Do you think that I do not know where you go when you climb through your window? To the rooftops at night? How you play the dainty daughter to your doting father? How you pretend to blend with slaves of all people? As if you could conceal your true self from me. <laughs> My dear, sweet stepdaughter, you are alive today because I needed you. Because I still need you. For what? Sit down. A little late for that, don't you think? My men will kill you. Then what will be left of your precious brotherhood? At ease. Look at us. So sad. How many years have we worked together for the slaves? Ha! You kept them enslaved, on your own terms, out of sight for your ill gain. You ended that, as was my intention. 
Monsieur de Ferrer had different ideas. He perverted my peaceful colony into something ugly. You had to kill him. I owe you gratitude. I don't believe you. Aveline, I love you. I raised you as my own. I was unable to bear children, but you brought light to my life. My whole life you lied to me. I am sorry. It was necessary. A mother's duty is to protect. But look at me now in the light of truth. You, who know so well the pain of a life lived in secret, shrouding your power in petticoats and lace, pretending obedience to men who deny you the right to your own abilities. Am I really so strange to you? I needed you to quash the terrorist elements in my organization. I need you still. I cannot let the assassins waste your talents. You are too valuable to me. As a tool to manipulate? I know you have been frustrated. Agate. I disobeyed. De Ferrer would still live if he had his way. You see? Your aims match mine. Join me, Aveline. Finish what you started. Agate! The student returns. Why? What use have you suddenly found for old Agate? I have discovered the identity of the company man. What? Did you not kill him years ago? That was not the company man. <laughs> you ignored my warning, and now you see your error. It was your responsibility to know as much as mine, Agate. I was a child when you brought me into the Brotherhood and made me an assassin. You pretended to protect me. To root out the enemy. And all along, my own stepmother, Madeleine, was the company man. Iniquity runs in the family. <laughs> 